So it's come to my attention that this rig is a little loud. I've called it the Pitbull Growl for some time, but I, I, I think it's time to put a muzzle on it. So this isn't uh, a how-to video. Uh, we're just gonna kind of be working in the, in the shop, doing some dialing, and hopefully getting this thing a little bit quieter because just right now, you know, I'm 23 years old. It is fun to have something that sounds so loud, but the, at the same time, I do drive this thing and it does get irritating. <laughs> so this thing isn't exactly soundproof. So with that said, we're gonna be installing the exhaust back on. In case you guys forgot, about two years ago now, my exhaust literally just fell off while I was driving. So we dragged it into the shop and we peeled it the rest of the way off. And I've just been running it like that ever since. And, and again, it's, it sounded awesome, it sounded great, um, but the idea has always been to get this thing fixed and toned down a little bit. Now, the thing is, as a lot of you car guys know, there are times, there are times and seasons where you want something a little louder and you wanna go quiet. And for the longest time, I didn't know that that was an option. I didn't know that you could have the best of both worlds until I ran in to uh, an exhaust cutout. So that is what we are going to be installing on the Pitbull today. I'm super pumped. We've kind of got a whole layout here that we'll be doing. We've got the exhaust that fell off. And we're gonna be installing some flanges because that, that's just gonna make it 10 times easier to pull out. Obviously, I've got my, my cross member and all of that stuff that I've got to worry about with the transmission. So this is definitely gonna be a project. And while I do have some welding knowledge and skill and experience, I did have to bring in the, uh, the heavy hitter today. Morgan, you guys have seen him in some videos before. He's gonna be helping me weld. Any, any words for the people, words of wisdom before we get this project going? Uh, measure twice. Measure cut twice. Once. Measure three times. Cut once. Cut five times. Yeah. Like in little <laughs> increments, you know? That's what I do. Just take as much time as you possibly can on your Saturday to get the project done. And like you said, when we're putting the flanges in there, we're thinking of maintenance and pulling that out if we have to pull another tranny, <laughs> God forbid. Well, you know, it's kind of, kind of my forte. Hey, I'm gonna go get some coffee. Just let me, let me know when you're done, okay? Bye, see ya. I'll bring you the bill. New. This is actually Gordon Bailey's old cross member for the 700R4 setups. We're gonna have to cut 10 inches out of this somewhere. Really? Yeah, because that's 42. How long is the overall package? Yeah, that's about 53 inches. We can take a couple there. We'll probably take at least five out of there. Take an inch off of that one. Let's take four inches out of both of these. Start there. Four inches it is, ladies and gentlemen. Dude. Look at that, that's beautiful right there. Oh, right in the eye. Right in the eye, dude. All the sand. Got some clearance on the body. My next step is I'm gonna hammer this one back like a half inch so they're lined up. And then what we'll probably do is I'll kind of hold it and get ready to tack it. And then you look at it from over there and tell me, yeah, we're Straight good or not. Or... Okay. All right. You like that still? Yeah. Let's tighten these down and see where it ends up. And then we should be good as long as we like where it sits to pull that out and start fully welding these pieces together. And then we can move on to the, the rest. Okay, We gotta be careful not to break these, but there's several tacks, so we should be okay. We need all of you professional welders in the comments below, just giving us your best feedback 
on how these welds look afterwards. We're, just, we're looking for constructive criticism here, folks. I took a welding class for like eight weeks, no big deal. Yeah, looks like you got this handled. Bye. <laughs> Dude, it looks like a caterpillar that got like stepped on. It's not gonna be a butterfly anymore. How about that? Let the professionals do it. <laughs> they should move. Now that is a beautiful freaking weld. This is like my fifth time welding. <laughs> All right, Mitch Creel's weld. And which one was yours? Like all the others? <laughs> all the others. <laughs> Let's just say Prob that Morgan probably. won, probably. and we've got one. Oh, we actually got I a couple to, more. I have to finish that, yeah. Compared to how my exhaust stuff usually turns out, we're doing pretty good today. That's the win. We're just trying to make an exhaust without any leaks. How many, how many test fits do you think we're at right now? Number five. Number five. Number five. We could just make this all day, man. Like six, seven, eight. Take it out, put it in, take it out. It's like 10, 11, anyways. I found the jagged cut in some of Mitch's sheet metal here. Careful, dude, the pimple likes to bite. I didn't know you could have a carnage score in and off the leash. That's kind of new. Actually, I, you could, because I've cut myself too. I'm sure we all have. All right, well, Morgan goes take takes care of that. We're gonna tighten up this exhaust to keep on buttoning stuff here. We're making some good progress today. Uh, it's definitely gonna be a two day install though. Hopefully not a three day. You still gotta wire up the cutout and all that, so. Okay, ta-ta! Rad stuff, dudes. Got a little bit of time left in the day, folks, um, but we're gonna have to wrap it up for today. So tomorrow is gonna be putting the other half of the exhaust on, actually installing the cutout, getting that all wired up, and then uh, kind of the noise test. So if you guys want to see what a cutout actually does to the sound of your vehicle, then stick around. Three days later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as usual, in any type of car project that you do, things just don't go as planned. So when we ended the video the other day, we were just supposed to hold the cutout up. We were gonna do some test fitting and stuff, see where all of this kind of goes together. And what we figured out was that, let me back up. For those of you guys who don't know, I rock crawl the pit bull. And I rock crawl it a decent amount. And this cutout with this Y pipe just hangs down a good six to eight inches, and any rock is just gonna want to destroy this thing if we leave it as is underneath the Bronco. So, we did a lot of diagnosing, we didn't really come up with much, so it's been a decent bit of time where this project has just kind of been at a standstill, but we need to get this installed, and just kind of the disclaimer here is that we're gonna do a bunch of cutting, we don't recommend doing any of this, we're just gonna do some fab stuff and make it work as best as we can, and the day that we're out on the trail and a rock takes this thing out is the day that we will decide that cutouts don't belong on Broncos, that rock crawl. So until that day comes, we're gonna run this thing. I may end up doing some type of uh, brace or something around it, some type of cage to just kind of protect this thing. It was expensive, so I really don't wanna wreck it, but I do want to have kind of this option of going between quiet and loud. I'm waiting for Morgan to get back out here. Like I said, we're gonna start cutting and welding and just making it happen. Go doing the Bronco way. You guys know how this goes. We, we make things work, even if uh, we gotta use duct tape and zip ties. It's just kinda how we do it, so. Stick around guys, this video is gonna be wrapping up. We're really not gonna go into the whole process. We're gonna kinda show you guys once it's all plugged in what we ended up doing, so. I'm like taking a brand new part out of the box, just cutting it up so it works to, for what you need it for.
couldn't weld up in there, so we welded the inside and then ground it smooth. I screwed up. No, dude. <laughs> that close. Ah, idiot. I was like, oh, okay, let's go put this up. Wait a minute. That's not supposed to point that way. You should be able to get this done. It's no problem. This is the kind of stuff that just goes down in a shop, you know? It shouldn't, but it does. So we ended up welding the piece on backwards, and so now we got to undo some work um which, yeah it happens you know it is what it is it's just only adding like four hours of work to the <laughs> morgan's always set about it it's always a good idea this is the equivalent to getting the perfect brake line flare and then forgetting the nut. I'll clean this up. Put it on this side. Did we cut the wrong side too? Yes, I did. <laughs> I did all of it wrong. <laughs> Dang. That's okay, your muffler will be even shorter. Be great. Yeah. This will be okay, I'll clean this up too. If you want to hop on the bandsaw, take half inch off of there. As long as that cutout will fit <laughs> in that space. Now, my spidey sensors are definitely off. <laughs> next day so ladies and gentlemen so what we accomplished yesterday was shoehorning all of this under an early bronco and trying to avoid hitting cross members or floor pans or transfer cases and also try and maintain a little bit of ground clearance this wanted to hang way down here wasn't going to work for us so we shortened up this flange brought this flange up a little closer to the main pipe shortened everything to fit the muffler behind the rear axle and the shock setup all right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're at the at the end of the line. We spent all of yesterday button up, buttoning everything up. As of right now, I think it works. We definitely did a lot of cutting and hacking and welding. I mean, the, Short, the whole thing, golly. We bought some extra pipe. I mean, it's just, uh, but that's like, like we said yesterday, that's what you do. You go out there and you make it work if you want it bad enough. And but we shoehorn a muffler and a cutout into this small space on an early Bronco where it's not supposed to be, so. Yep. You guys want to see if this thing actually works? I want to see if this thing actually works. I could have turned it on yesterday, but we wanted you guys all to be a part of this thing. So, pause while I climb into my Bronco, which, uh, whose door doesn't work. Ladies and gentlemen, the pit bull growl is no more.
might have some fuel supply issues, but I think the, I think the cutout works. That was actually sick. She still growls. She does, she's still got a bite. And with that cutout, we can tap into full pit bull growl mode. Anyways guys, thanks for watching the video so far. I know it was an off the leash and it was a little bit chaotic and we didn't know what we were doing at times, but gotta give a shout out to you Morgan for coming in clutch doing a lot of the, the heavy lifting for stuff that I've never really done before. Oh, you come so. over and build my exhaust, it's all good. I'm down, dude. <laughs> I know how to weld exhaust now. <laughs> but anyways, guys, if you're not subscribed already, make sure you do become one of the horsemen. We would love to have you, and we're excited. We're pumped for what the future holds. Got a few more things to do to this thing, so make sure you stick around. I guess with all of that being said, we will see you out there on the trail. Peace! <laughs>